Well, a summer camp takes kids away from their day-to-day -day routine, giving them a hands-on experience in math and science. And by the end of their learning, these kids know how to build a hut from the ground up. As KDTV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy reports, they're also learning about new cultures and teamwork. I'm stepping aside. It's all you. So I was excited to come like, try it out for myself. Dozens of kids huddled around tables, excitedly putting their training into action. If you're an engineer, like the different things that you would build. Aqua Africa takes the subjects of STEM and applies them to the world that they interact with, compiling it all into a camp with the help of curriculum developed by UNL. If it's different, it's they are learning, they're meeting new people, they're interacting with different youth. Um, it gives them a lot of opportunities to learn in different ways. Come on in, come on in. Each week, the campers took on a new challenge, getting firsthand knowledge from local experts in the construction and architecture fields. You build a house, you power it um, by using solar panels to bring electricity into the house. You use that solar panel to um, power a pump to uh, take water into a tank and distribute it to the community. Even getting a look at a construction site. And by the end of the Build a Hut camp, former CEO of Aqua Africa, Bouyere Tut, says these kids become the future faces of STEM. If we get them young, get them interested in the STEM topics, introduce them its practical applications, then they are not as intimidated by it. About three weeks later, they achieved the goal of building their own hut with a little friendly competition, putting the best design to the test. Whoever wins gets a $50 gift card and $1,000 of donation to wherever our site is. But these kids also learn about culture from the other side of the globe. I'm from South Sudan, so I always used to tell my mom that when I'm older, I'll try to go back and like help out and see family there. Understanding that life looks differently in countries like Sudan, so how can they apply what they've learned 7,000 miles away? They still need clean water, they still need a stable home. So to make those things happen, you do need architects, you do need engineers. And by the end, use those skills to build their future. The possibilities are endless for them, you know, to think big, to dream big, to do whatever. Um, not, not to be trapped in the little world that is given to them. Kaylee Searcy, KETV, News Watch 7.